really good evening, everyone. Greetings and good evening. Let me turn this around right quick so you can just see. They have gondola rides out here in City Park. That is a complete sidebar right now from our purpose today, but that's okay. I had to um, just show it to you right quick. So I'll give it just a couple of seconds for people to join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone, my live viewers and to my replay viewers. Make sure that you share, share, share with your friends. Let me go ahead and introduce myself. I am Dr. Michelle Clay. I am a speaker. I am an author. I am a holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. I help stressed out and burned out professionals release the tension and overwhelm so that they can live a free life on purpose and with passion so for those of you who follow me then you know every Wednesday we do Wednesday's wellness wisdom pearl with Dr. Michelle Clay but today is a little bit special it is International Women's Day so this broadcast is in honor of women and we'll be talking about the wellness wisdom of women. So just a few months ago, in the Journal of the American Medical Association, Internal Medicine Edition, they released a report of a long-term research done out of Harvard stating that women are better physicians than men. Now how they measured this, now how they measured this was by um, was by looking at all hospitalists and those are physicians who deal with all patients that are admitted to the hospital and they found that the women physicians had less readmissions to the hospital as well as lower mortality rates in those um, numbers and percentages increase even more for the sicker patients. They found that the women physicians were more encouraging, reassuring, and had better patient outcomes because the communication was more patient-centered. Now see, when I was in medical school, I was always taught, listen to the patient and they'll tell you what's wrong with them. Now granted, the percentages for um, lower mortality rates for women physicians versus male physicians, it wasn't that significant statistically, but it equated to approximately 32,000 people. Now to me, especially if that is your loved one, 32,000 is significant. That's 32,000 more hellos, 32,000 more hugs, 32,000 more smiles, 32,000 more I love yous. Now, in honor of International Women's Day, the theme this year is be bold for change. So for those women physicians who are having better patient outcomes, who are reassuring their patients and their families even more. I honor you. Hi, Cindy. I honor you and I thank you. I honor you for being the ones who came before being bold enough to listen to this quiet whisper inside that said yes when everyone else loudly said no for you moving forward and opening a door creating a door that I could just walk right through instead of having to create or knock down myself I give honor to the women today who are bold enough to envision a more peaceful and beautiful world and bold enough to create the change to see that happen starting with themselves. I give honor to the women who are bold enough when seeing inequalities are bold enough 
to make necessary changes to try and make the playing field more even because you know and saw that change is not just inevitable but change is non-negotiable. I give honor to the women today who are bold enough to do what needs to be done that you've never done before but know it needs to be done even when you were afraid and without encouragement. And today especially, I give gratitude and I honor International Women's Day to my grandmother, Martha Louise Black Jackson. Because you see, she was the, the physician, the healer, the everything in our family. You know, just because you haven't attended medical school, you don't have MD, DO, PhD, DC, or OD behind your name does not mean that you are not a physician, healer, nurturer, caregiver, teacher, mentor, and all of that for your family. Because I know that you are. You see, women are biologically more nurturers and that's why they make better physicians and that's why they're the healers in their family, nine times out of 10. You see, a cousin of mine, I remember when he was a, a, a small baby, even though his dad may feed him, burp him, change him, put him to bed, he did not have that peaceful, exhale and finally drift off to sleep until his mother came in and rubbed his back just for a few seconds and you see that's the legacy that I come from because my grandmother Martha Louise Black Jackson who I honor today for International Women's Day she was definitely the healer and physician in our family you see she was born in 1911 and being an African-American woman, she didn't have the opportunity to go to medical school, but she knew she always wanted to help and heal people. So she looked to nursing school mm -hmm. and she was so excited about attending nursing school and sharing her gifts and compassion with others. She got her uniform, she got her necessary study materials, and then there was just one thing left and that was to get her physical exam. But during her physical exam, they found that she had a heart murmur. And because of that, she was unable to continue or begin her education to become a nurse. Now they don't have that provision today, but like I said, my grandmother was born in 1911. But don't think that she didn't always deliver healing to us. You see, she had that, that way about her. She had those special hands that she could just tuck you in just so that you felt safe and comforted and nurtured and loved. It could be the dead of summer, 95 degrees outside. But if you fell asleep on her sofa or in a chair, she was going to get one of those small Afghans that she made with those healing, nurturing hands through crochet and she was gonna tuck you in. And she gave healing to us through her food, through her kind words, and she shared that not just with her family, but with everyone that she came in contact with. Because to those who were younger than she was, instead of introducing her as Mrs. Jackson, she will always say, oh, you can just call me Nanny because she shared that love, that strength, that wellness wisdom with everyone that she came in contact with. And she loved to encourage. You see, because encouragement is not just a word. Encouragement can be a word, a smile. It's what gives you the strength, the support, and the hope to keep moving forward. So, Thank you, Nanny. You were always with me. And she opened up doors and gave opportunities that she may not have been able to dream and realize herself, but I am the answer to a lot of her prayers. So thank you. 
So thank you everyone for joining me for sharing this video to the replay viewers. That is the wellness wisdom of women today on International Women's Day. So for more information and to continue to follow me, you can find me at www.freelife7le.com. And there you can get even more wellness wisdom and follow me. So, once again, I am Dr. Michelle Clay. I am speaker, author, holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. I express my wellness wisdom by helping exhausted executives, stressed out and burned out professionals find their happy and healthy place so that they can live a free life on purpose and with passion. So until next time, be well to yourself and happy International Women's Day. Bye-bye.